Hello viewers, we're doing another uh, Starfield video. Uh, we're taking a look at another one of my ships. Uh, this one I call the Jade Hammer. This, believe it or not, also started off as a Crimson Fleet Ghost. Uh, if you watch the, uh, the Little Red video, uh, this started off as exactly the same ship. Uh, it's got a little bit more extensive modifications to it. Uh, first off, I've pulled off the, uh, the large front landing gear that you would normally see on this. And I've gone for a uh, Hope Tech front and rear landing gear. Uh, initially, when I put this together, I had a space because uh, this gear was mounted a little further forward. And I decided I preferred it with an all-in-one look to it. And it actually gives it a, a nice uh, front profile. This is the uh, two by one uh, control room. And then behind that, I put a two by one hab, uh, which gives you a bed so you can get the, uh, the bonus for sleeping. Uh, we've got a couple of cargo pods, one on either side, and we've got one in the tail here. It's pretty much the same layout as the, uh, the little red ship. Um, I've got my reactor uh, down underneath the HAB unit, and that re you require to use a reactor that's got side mount uh, attaches because that's where the, uh, the rear landing gear hooks onto. This cargo pod only has a top attachment point, and that's hung from the bottom of the uh, uh, the HAB unit. And uh, then at the back of it, I've got uh, a couple of these Hope Tech caps. And uh, I switched from the uh, the large dual tanks that are normally sitting up on top of the... Uh, uh, I believe they're mounted on top of the engine on these ships. I, I don't exactly have a picture handy of what the ghost looks like. But I decided to put a, a single uh, hydrogen tank on one side. This is actually larger capacity than what the ship started with. And then uh, I put, uh, like the other side, I just let you use the empty space for another uh, electron beam. I've got uh, one on either side of the hab mounted to a, uh, uh, a weapon mount. And then I just used the empty spot on the, uh, the front landing gear to mount a third one. So I've got, uh, three electron beams and I've got a single missile launcher. This is the uh, Hope Tech, uh, the large cockpit. And I've used a Hope Tech one by one companion way and I've just mounted a separate uh, docker on the front of it. Uh, when I first got the, uh, the ship, the, the Ghost comes with a, uh, a front docker on it and it was just too much nose on this thing. So I decided to remove that. Initially, I put one of these cap units on it and then I decided to go with a window, and I think it uh, has a pretty decent look to it. Um, you've got your uh, grav drive here. I mounted a shield up on the top. I'm not crazy about the gigantic shield. Um, I think it's maybe just a little too big, so I might go with something a little different, uh, possibly a side-mounted shield, or uh, maybe even move this. This is nothing but a structural piece to fill the, the space in a little bit better. And then, of course, I've got a cap mounted on the back of this. Although it looks like it would interfere, it actually doesn't. Uh, like, I'm, I'm not using a no-clip mode or whatever. I built this ship in the Xbox, so there's no cheats or anything like that. These engines fit okay on here. They don't give any errors. This cap uh, and the structural piece, they fit okay as well. So there's no issues with that. Uh, between the, uh, cargo, or the cockpit, which I believe is 300 cargo, I believe these are uh, 320 each, and then this one is uh, 740, if I'm not mistaken. So you end up with a total of about 2,000 cargo uh, before you add uh, skills to that. So let's uh, make this my home ship, and then we'll go out and we'll take a look at the interior of it, and uh, you can check that out. I wish I could remember what the holster button is on this, but I don't really use the keyboard and mouse. Good day, Captain. Um, and I don't have an Xbox controller paired to this uh, computer. Let me know when you're ready to launch. Okay, so this is the two by one control room. You got your window up at the front here. By the way, when somebody does a ship tour, if you're never positive about it, if you look at that little white house shape mark in the compass, that's always north and it's always also the front of your ship. So if somebody's walking you through a complex ship design, you can tell right now we're facing aft because that's on the bottom of my compass. 
Here you've got your yes. uh, your two by one hab. Now, one thing about these, this is the uh, the Hope Tech version. The Teo version is the uh, same, but you want to make sure you don't mount anything to the back wall because if you do, you're going to lose one of the beds and you're going to lose the bathroom on here. So you have to sort of pay attention to where your attachment uh, points are. What did you need? And then we'll go up to the cockpit. This is the one, oh, pff, this is not the cockpit, this is the uh, docking module. Um, you could, if you wanted to, use a uh, Nova Galactic uh, docker, and that would put the, uh, the docker here. It, it takes the same amount of space, but of course the coloring and the profile wouldn't line up quite right with the Hope Deck stuff. Cockpit is actually the front ladder here. So we got uh, a couple of crew for, or a couple of seats for the crew. We've got the captain's locker. We've got the access to the cargo hold. Um, I believe it was showing 1940 when we accessed it through the uh, the ship menu. And here it's showing 2040 because I've got uh, the payload skill. So that adds a little bit to that. And a view from the driver's seat is pretty decent. Got kind of a large instrument panel, but overall view is good. I tend to do most of my flying and combat from the uh, from the cockpit view, so I find that I'm quite happy with this. I'm not going to bother taking it up into space. If you decide you like the design, you can try it out for yourself. Uh, it does quite well for uh, for combat. So, yeah, I mean, how you fit your weapons is kind of up to you. I've got a decent reactor in this thing that I puts out about uh, 26 power, I believe. It's an A-class. Um, and it's got, of course, a top speed, like most A-class ships, of uh, 150. I don't recall exactly what the Let boost uh, speed is. head into the well, so I can watch your back. It's like living next to an airport. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, ship tour. This one I've been flying quite a bit lately. It's uh, the most recent one that I've uh, built. And uh, I quite like it. It's, it's decent in combat. It's got a uh, kind of an industrial look to it. So uh, hopefully you can take some inspiration from it for your ship builds. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, come back for the next video.